Hello everybody, welcome back to Lions Family Farms. So right now I'm going and running down to Nolts Power Equipment, gonna see about getting a pump for um, pumping nitrogen for filling the corn planter. And then I'm running down to Martin's Welding because they're gonna make us a set of pallet forks for the 7130. We need the pallet forks for the 7130 for lifting triticale totes to load the drill. And um, it's gonna be easier moving nitrogen totes around with the tractor rather than the skid loader because uh, I don't even know if the skid loader is gonna pick pick up a whole tote of nitrogen. But before I do anything, I need fuel. We have 20 miles till E. Back here to the farm. Uh, I'm gonna take some hay that steers and do some little other stuff here for lunch. Plan on turning this little concrete area into my seed and chemical storage. But as you can see, we have some cleaning up to do. We got an old plow, TV, just some, some junk. So I don't know if we're gonna work on that today or not. We'll see what I decide to do later on. So I'm up here in the bales. Uh, got 70 bales over here we, I want to sell. Uh, these bales, they're already sold. They just need picked up or loaded up, whatever you want to say. So I'd be really happy if we can get this whole shed empty until springtime. Well, this afternoon, I'm going to see if I can get Grandma's lawnmower fired up. It has not ran in two years. It was put away running, but two years is a long time. First things first. Man, do I love root beer barrels. Don't need the mice getting in there though. Well, battery is dead as expected. See if we can jump it with my pickup. I didn't back the van out far enough, so we'll just drag it over. See what she's got. She's gonna start, baby. Battery's toast, though. So we'll pour out and go get a new one. Hey, okay, she's got new batteries. What do you think? Good job. Bedding day. Look at this dumb heifer. Come on, go get your head out of there. It's milking time tonight here and milk testing day. Craig's here. We got the testers hooked up. They're pretty accurate to what the thing actually is. I'll show it whenever he's getting the sample later. Dip. Oh, she's making her difficult to film. Craig's getting the sample. We need to go for my cereal tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of it. next day and hay sales are in full swing sold a load this morning sold a load this, well we're going to sell a load this afternoon and contracted four loads today so i'm feeling pretty good about it right now i'd say we're going through one and a quarter bales a week and last year was a really good year so trying to get rid of it because we need to make room for new stuff and plus this is be our last year for feeding hay Next year, all the heifers will be getting a TMR between corn silage and triticale. Parker's ready for a good day of farming. Yep, he's riding. Ready to sell some hay? Are you ready to sell some hay, Parker? Why don't you tell everybody how big you are? <laughs> what did you say? What, what about Adam? Yeah, he's gone. He's going to get some hay bells ready for us. Uh. Now we have to move. Some Adam's stuff out of the road. My co-pilot is ready. How about it? What are you thinking? Do you have any thoughts today? Yeah, me either. We're hooked up. 
heading down the driveway. Hey Parker, is this better than watching Paw Patrol? Is this better than Paw Patrol? I think it is. If I see the same episode of Paw Patrol again, I made it. I made it nuts. Well, it's pretty tight down here, so we're going through this cover crop field. It's going to get sprayed off anyway. And then we'll go down through it. Yeah, there's Adam. Down through a waterway out of here, so we're ready to head back up the road when we're loaded. get some air hard to believe I missed that with my extensive uh, pre-trip inspection well we're almost cooking but uh who did why why put the bow stem on the inside <laughs> just, was, was just cool. to uh, make you frustrated what you say so you're more can have more frustration I guess that guy's coming in 30 minutes yeah all right, we're back in business. Not perfect, but uh, enough air to get us up the road again. Then we'll worry about it. Well, we're loaded up. Now we need to take the air compressor back down. Let's not roll it. Try not to. up in the big corn solid silo and there's a problem with the unloader the amp meter kind of goes back and forth so we think there might be a problem with the belts and the only way to know is to go up there just first offhand look or guess here this belt is looking pretty rough we'll get Dave to fire up and see what see what it looks like when it's running it's definitely this big belt you can see it moves in the pulley and um, if you look out across it, it's different, like it's burnt. Looks as if we can open a door while we're up here too. So Dave brought me a belt and he's opening the door. Oh, an absolute unit. Which is awesome because I don't want to do it. Huh. Well everyone, that's going to wrap today's video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe.